Now, as you can see, I'm in one specific account and I have a script here which will check destination URLs. Now, instead of me having to go and mess with a bunch of code, all of the settings are maintained in a form-based UI. So all I have to do to edit the settings is go here and my email address is when I want to add a new email address. I would just do something like this. And when I hit the comma, it just turns it into a token. So it's very hard for people to make mistakes when they're doing this. Uh, now we're also able to do more advanced settings as every setting is uh, coming up. We either give the user some easy to choose options or we tell them exactly what type of information to in enter into the box. And then we've also got some advanced settings which make the scripts even more powerful. So this one can check not just for broken landing pages, but also if a specific piece of text happens to be on a landing page. These are advanced settings and we've hidden these, but we still make it relatively easy for people to use them. So once you save this, uh, the other beauty of enhanced scripts is that this layer that we've put in between scripts and uh, your management is that you can download either a single account version or an MCC version of that script. And this works for all of our scripts. So if I was to take the single account version, all I do is I download this code. It gives me a very small piece of text right there. So I can copy and paste that over to the account. I'll put that into the account and then I'll show you what happens with our system. So here now I've taken the enhanced script from Optimizer, copied and pasted it into the AdWords account, and I've previewed it. You can see that ran in 33 seconds. It gives it a little message right there. But uh, let me explain what happened. So as soon as that script was run out of AdWords, the AdWords system talked to Optimizer and said, hey, Optimizer, what are we supposed to do in this account? Now, two important things happened. First of all, we gave it back all of the settings that that user put in. So if the user later on decided that they did not want to monitor for the text out of stock as an indication of a broken landing page, they wouldn't have to deal with complicated code. They would just come to these settings. They would go and find where that setting was put in and they could delete this token and save it. And the next time that script runs, they don't even have to reinstall it. It'll automatically fetch the latest settings and operate with those. Uh, the other thing we do is we allow you to have multiple settings. So maybe different things need to happen within the same account based on different conditions. So you can have as many of these settings as you need. Uh, that's not very easy to do if you were using the code directly, not using enhanced scripts. And then the final thing we do is we also have logs. So in the logs, you can see exactly what our script did, uh, how many things it's checked and how many issues it found. So here it said we had one issue with 10 URLs that were checked. None of them were paused because we ran it in the non-pausing mode. And then we also always have a link. So if the user now wants to know, oh, exactly what is the issue that you think is happening, they can come here. So we generate a Google spreadsheet. Here's a tab of 404 errors of which we had none. Here are the pages that we checked that had no issues. So I can make sure that pages were actually validated. And then it turns out we had one page that had a, an error, uh, potentially because a piece of text appeared on the page. And in this case, the text out of stock was on the page. Um, so, and that page had spent $97 over the last 30 days. So that could be a potential issue, something we would wanna check. And then if any pages were not able to be checked, we would put them on here.